Good morning children. In this module we are going to learn about soil erosion and types of soil erosion. Let's start with it. So soil erosion is the removal of the top layer of the soil and it is removed by different agents of erosion like fast moving wind, running water, glacier or ice and ocean waves. So these are the agents of erosion. So first we will see the types of soil erosion and here uh, it is mainly caused by river that is running water. So the running water leads to the soil erosion and the types are sheet erosion, gully erosion, rill erosion and steam bank erosion. So let's start with soil erosion by running water. The first one is sheet erosion. So students you can see in the picture the land is devoid means the top layer of the soil is removed by the running water and due to lack of vegetation the uh, top layer uh, was, has been removed and like a sheet of uh, soil is removed and this is a process of slow process of eating away the soil. It is very harmful because top layer of the soil is removed which is fertile and therefore the land is rendered infertile and unfit for agriculture. So there is one more picture this also shows that how the top layer of the soil has been removed and the land has been uh, rendered uh, infertile. Now it is it requires a lot of fertilizers and artificial mode of irrigation so that uh, cultivation can be done. The next type of erosion is rill erosion. In this type of erosion finger like rills appear. You can see the grooves have formed on the land. So this is basically due to the running water. Water has carried away the soil and because of which grooves or have uh, rills have formed. These are finger like depressions. They have formed and over a period of time these fine rills increase in number and they also become deeper and wider. You can see here uh, these are this was like the width and as we are moving further it is becoming wider. So with time this can also become wider and this is basically the soil is eroded from uh, the top layer by the force of the running water and uh, this leads to the formation of finger like rills uh, on the landscape. This reduces the area under cultivation and as well as the yield of area which is under the yield of crops. Means you can see this is an agricultural field but this whole area has been rendered useless because rills have formed and they will also increase in width and depth if measures are not taken. So this is rill erosion. This is another picture that shows the uh, rill erosion. So you can see the finger like grooves have formed and this uh, groove will widen uh, and it might also deepen with time if it is not checked. Now students the next picture is shows the next type of erosion that is gully erosion. So when the rills they become deeper or in an area where the running water is so erosive it's so powerful that it that it can lead to like deep very deep grooves on the land and these are known as gullies. So gully erosion takes place on the steep slopes of hills. You can see this is a hilly area and the steep very steep slopes of hills are affected by this erosion and the main agent is running water. When there is a heavy downpour of rain the soil is removed by water flowing along definite path down to the slo slope in channel means in the form of channels narrow stream the water comes down the slope and you can see the landscape how it has been distorted by the erosive action of water. And these are known as gullies and they become wider and deeper and when they become very wide and deep they are known as ravines they form ravines and such area uh, if in a large area gully erosion has occurred for example the Chambal river valley in Madhya Pradesh in India there you can see it's a best example of uh, gully erosion a very large area has been uh, this uh, like uh, destroyed or we can say the soil or the land has been left unfit for agriculture because several gullies have formed there deep grooves have formed 
and we call it bad land bad land here means land which is unfit for agriculture so this is the meaning of bad land so like this students gully erosion can leave the land unfit for agriculture we can see more pictures see this is another uh, picture showing gully erosion now students the next one is stream bank erosion so the river on its way also erode like in a in a laterally means if it is widening itself its a bank it's eroding its bank bank are the two sides of a river this is one bank and this is another bank if river erodes its bank and then it widens further and eats up the soil in its bank then it is known as stream bank erosion the banks of the streams or river get eroded every year by continuous flowing of water during flood the erosion takes place a serious form and gradually the bed of the river widens so during flood when the river overflows it eats up the bank and the what uh, the soil is removed from the bank and this is known as stream bank erosion so students these were the types of erosion caused by running water now next we will learn see this is another picture of bank erosion you can see uh, the uh, soil was still here but it has been eaten up by this erosive action of water and the bank has been eroded this is another picture of stream bank erosion now students we will learn how the soil is eroded by the erosive action of ocean waves or sea water so the sea water or ocean water they have waves and they are very powerful when they come and they start they strike the rocks on the shore the soft rocks are eroded and the you can see in the picture the hard rock is still durable and it is getting eroded slowly whereas the soft rock which was present all around has been eroded so this is the erosive power of ocean waves now students you can see uh, the house this house or the it might be a hotel or a guest house is it was on the shore but it was not uh, on the verge of uh, uh, the shore but now what has happened as this whole area has been eroded so it has come till here and now you can see the house is in a very vulnerable position it can collapse if further erosion occurs and if any measure is not taken you can see here this is also a very good picture showing the power of wave ocean wave which has eroded the land this is another picture of ocean wave erosion or shore erosion this is you can see a uh, durable rock hard rock is still uh, resistant so it's standing whereas the surrounding area has been eroded the rest of the area was also of this height but it has been eroded due to the action of water the next one in the list is wind erosion so the erosive action of what uh, of wind is very active it is an active agent in deserts and semi deserts and its power can uh, take away the sand from one area to another so this is how you can see the marks of erosion caused by the wind see the wind has eroded this area and the resistant rocks are standing whereas the soft rocks have been eroded this is the another picture this area you can see the resistant portion is uh, still uplifted whereas the soft area has been eroded this landform has been carved by wind wind as a strong agent of erosion so thank you students that's all in this module